What's up guys, my name is Brendan and we're working on 2005 Subaru WRX. We're gonna burp the air out of the coolant system and lines. Uh, anytime you take um, you know, this top radiator hose off uh, right here um, or any other coolant line, um, you're introducing air into the system and uh, those air pockets are um, basically not causing your in or they're causing your engine to uh, overheat eventually if um, you know there's too much air in the system and not enough coolant because coolant is what cools your engine so obviously you got to take all of the air out and uh, otherwise your car will overheat I experienced that last night and uh, I was like crap you know I did a bunch of things took the radiator hose off to get access to the uh, power steering pump and I didn't burp it as well as I should have so um, what we're gonna do is use uh, like kind of like a specialty funnel but you can find it at uh, O'Reilly or Advance something like that and um, going to burp the system so we'll do that now this is what the specialty funnel looks like here uh it's a spill free funnel there you go um but basically it comes with all these little gadgets um and this will eventually slide into the coolant reservoir and then the cap will go on top of this and it creates a airtight space so no coolant will come out and uh, we'll show you how that works with the funnel here in a second you just find the right size attachment that one seems to work put it in the reservoir you don't want it sitting on top because this piece will go on top and spin on just like your regular cap once you get that done you need to put the funnel on top of it and it should sit in there nice and nice and good uh, so that it will hold coolant whenever you go to put it in one other thing I want to mention, um, you may not need the specialty funnel when you do this, but it is really nice because you um, can do some things um, whenever the coolant is sitting in the funnel um, and literally massage this or just squeeze this. And uh, I don't know if you heard that, but it will burp a little bit more of the system out. Um, so the other thing that is nice about this it um, holds the coolant and then you can plunge it, uh, which will show you to hold the coolant in there when you go to take it off if you overfill it. Um, but anyways, the whole point about this is you may not need the funnel because um, if you take this radiator cap off and you take the reservoir cap off while it's cold, you start the car and will fill the reservoir and you will visibly see this go down and when it goes down then you know you can fill this more and um so there's just another little way to do it i you know would recommend doing it the right way get the funnel 30 40 bucks makes life really easy you can start out with the car off and what we're gonna do is just pour some coolant in there As you can see, it's filling some air bubbles and uh, it was going down a good little bit. So we definitely need to introduce more in there. And uh, you see how now we have it sitting in the funnel, which is perfectly fine. We're gonna go ahead and massage this a little bit. And you can see it's taking more of the air out. Literally just squeezing this hose. And as you can see, I mean, a lot of that air was, um, you know, basically being filled by the coolant. Uh, you know, obviously you wanna make sure all of your radiator hoses are uh, tight and the hose clamp is on good. Otherwise you will leak coolant and that is no bueno. That is pretty much it guys. Um, the next thing I would probably do is just run the car um and it will it'll definitely suck some more of that coolant in so you know start the car with the funnel on there uh keep adding coolant you know until it comes up a little bit um you may be able to get it spot on but you know anyways if you don't you use this little plunger tool stick it in here and that will hold all of the excess 
antifreeze. So whenever you go to take the funnel off, it stays in there and you can literally just put it back in your bottle if you have extra uh, leftover. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the car, run a little bit more antifreeze through it, um, you know, not get it too hot, but uh, just make sure all of the air is out of it. You know, you want enough coolant in there. Um, you can fill your reservoir tank at the end. Um, if it's low, generally, uh, you know, it'll stay pretty consistent where it's at. It's just the whole idea of this thing is bleeding all the air out of the system so that your coolant has maximum pressure, basically. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.